I mean, uh, I had a single mother with two older brothers uh, in a predominantly, uh, uh, it wasn't a culture, it wasn't a diverse neighborhood. And uh, just having to make it, having to survive, to have enough to go to school and making sure I had shoes that wouldn't make kids make fun of me was a lot. Um, when you're, when you're, I would say poor, but when you're not well off and you're in a community where everybody else is well off, you stand out. And uh, I remember when I was 18 years old, I came back from college and I made sure to always do everything right, stay on course, never get in trouble because my mom always told me I had a mission. I remember coming back from college and the first day coming back, uh, we were on State Street downtown Santa Barbara and there was a shooting. And all I remember is walking to my car and having three gunshots, three guns drawn to my head. Me, my little cousin, and my best friend. And I just remember being embarrassed, being walked out, and having to feel some type of way just because I was a black man in the wrong, at the wrong place. And so for me, um, that's something that I've had to deal with and it's something that I've went with my whole life, understanding that I can't walk the same way as everybody else. I can't talk the same way. I have to hold myself to a different standard and I have to be aware when I, when I walk outside. And it's something that is hard, but I have to teach my son and everybody that comes up after me that looks like me. A lot of times we look at everything that makes us different and not the things that make us the same. We, we use everything from skin color to religion to separate each other instead of using that thing to understand that we're unique in our own self. And I think the only way we get through this is to understand and love one another and understand that everybody is different and you have to respect everybody for that. I think uh, what we can do to have a better f future is take care of our homes, make sure we educate within our homes and teach love and, and self-love more than anything. These kids and the people that, that are in society now need to love ourselves and then be able to love one another. Um, I think our future depends on the loving of each other. I mean, we can't control everybody, but what we can do is set a precedent, set an example. We're in opportunity, we're in spaces where people look to us for guidance, they look up to us. And it's, for us, it's making sure we walk in the right foot, to make sure that when people look at us, we're doing the right thing. Um, we can't control, I can't control what somebody says to me or does to me, but I can control how I act and how I react. And I think those actions are what's gonna teach my son and kids after me how to go on in life, is how you react, how you walk, are you a good person? And hopefully that will lead to your kids and that will push on to their friends. because I think progression is key. I think whether it's something staying the same or changing, um, as people, as a society, we see that there's a need to, pro uh, to progress. And right now, I think voting is, is a key component to that. If we vote, voting gives us our word, gives people, gives our community, our government uh, uh, a chance to hear us. And um, I think it's just very important because we all want change. We all want to continue to prosper. And I think that growth is important and that gives us a way to. I think you have to be about caring about people. Um, I think the hardest thing as far as on the court is being able to understand that you have to be one way to play this game and be successful at it. You know, you can't always be nice on the court and always care for your opponent. And, um, but one thing you can do is care for them as a, as a person. Everything that happens on the court is on the court and I make sure that, that that's kind of known. Um, I'm not your friend on the court, I really don't care about you on the court. But off the court, when you go across those lines, I care about everybody as if they are my brothers because if they are better, we are better. And I think as a whole, that's important. I think more than anything, they have to stay strong, stay, um, let's say, stay concerned with what's going on in your household, in your community. I would say um, really just understand that we're all going through this together. There's not one person that's going through this alone. And don't allow, whether it's anxiety from staying at home or not be able to go out, don't allow yourself to feel like you have to deal with that on your own. There's people out here, there's your friends out here, family. It's okay, we're all kind of going through this together. So I think more than anything, just stay strong, understand that we will be back, understand and continue to preach love and care all over the world because we need everybody on this earth, on this planet to come together and love each other and understand that we are on this and we are going through this together. So don't be afraid to reach out, don't be afraid to to, to give love to other people and show that you care and have compassion.